Chicago WGN-TV A passenger arriving on an international flight at Chicago's O'Hare Airport last Wednesday may have exposed some people in the airport to measles, health officials say. While they stress there is no current risk to the public, the Illinois Department of Public Health said in a statement that anyone inside O'Hare between 630 a.m. and 1 p.m. on January 10 may have been exposed to the measles virus. On January 10, a passenger on an international flight with a contagious case of the measles arrived in O'Hare's Terminal 5 and traveled through Terminal 1, possibly in addition to other areas of the airport, officials say. Undated in this handout from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC, a thin section transmission electron micrograph TEM reveals the ultrastructural appearance of a single virus particle, or virion, of measles virus. In this undated image, Measles outbreaks have been reported throughout the U.S., with the latest reported February 5, 2015 at a daycare in suburban Chicago where as many as five children under the age of one have been infected. Photo by CDC via Getty Images Mill Valley, CA January 26 In this photo illustration, vials of measles, mumps and rubella vaccine are displayed on a counter at a Walgreens pharmacy on January 26, 2015 in Mill Valley, California. An outbreak of measles in California has grown to 68 cases with 48 of the cases being linked to people who had visited Disneyland. Nine additional cases have been reported in five states in Mexico. Photo by illustration Justin Sullivan JT Images Miami, Florida January 28 Miami Children's Hospital Pediatrician Drive Amanda Porro, MD, prepares to administer a measles vaccination to a child at the Miami Children's Hospital on January 28, 2015 in Miami, Florida. A recent outbreak of measles has some doctors encouraging vaccination as the best way to prevent measles and its spread. Photo by Joe Raid Laghetti Images 1972 In this handout from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC, a histopathology of measles pneumonia is seen in this microscope image from 1972. Measles outbreaks have been reported throughout the U.S., with the latest reported February 5, 2015 at a daycare in suburban Chicago where as many as five children under the age of one have been infected. Photo by CDC via Getty Images Miami, Florida January 28 In this photo illustration, a bottle containing a measles vaccine is seen at the Miami Children's Hospital on January 28, 2015 in Miami, Florida. A recent outbreak of measles has some doctors encouraging vaccination as the best way to prevent measles and its spread. Photo illustration by Joe Raid Laghetti Images A girl receives anti-measles vaccination drops at a health center in BASECO compound in Tondo, Manila September 3, 2014. Philippine President Benigno Aquino said on September 1, 2014 between 11 to 13 million people in the country are at risk from measles, polio and rubella German measles, and asked the public to cooperate in eradicating the preventable diseases. During Monday's launch of a mass national vaccination campaign against measles and polio, reported local media. Reuters Eric de Castro Philippines tags Health Society A measles vaccine is seen at Venice Family Clinic in Los Angeles, California February 5, 2015. Lawmakers in several U.S. states are backing proposals to make it harder for parents to opt out of school vaccinations based on personal beliefs, as health officials fight a growing measles outbreak that has sickened more than 100 people in more than a dozen states. Reuters Lucy Nicholson United States tags health politics A girl looks on as a health officer injects her with measles vaccine at a school in Yemeni's central province of Marib January 12, 2016. Reuters Ali Owadarache, Indonesia November 14 Students receive immunizations against TD tetanus toxoid and DT diphtheria tetanus during the implementation of the school children immunization month in Loxiamore on November 14, 2016 in Arche, Indonesia. TD immunization shots tetanus toxoid and DT diphtheria tetanus to prevent measles, diphtheria and tetanus, which aims to improve the health of students in Indonesia. Photograph by Fakral Reza Barcroft Images London 44-207-033-1031 A hello at barcroftmedia.com New York 1-212-796-2458 A hello at barcroftuser.com New Delhi 9111-4053-2429 A hello at barcroftindia.com www.barcroftimages.com Photo credit should read Fakral Reza Barcroft Images Barcroft Media via Getty Images Amazon, Manaus, Amazonia 
Communist State, Brazil 20,160,316 measles, a highly contagious infection caused by the measles virus is an airborne disease which spreads easily through the coughs and sneezes of those infected red rash which usually starts on the face and then spreads to the rest of the body is the typical symptom. Fundicao de Medicina Tropical do Amazonas Amazon Tropical Medicine Foundation, Manaus City, Brazil Photo by Ricardo Funeri Brazil Photo slide rocket via Getty Images The passenger was diagnosed with measles after arriving in his home state. Soon afterwards, the Centers for Disease Control learned of the case and contacted passengers who sat next to the passenger during his journey. Health agencies are now working to inform others who were inside O'Hare on January 10 that they may have been exposed. If you weren't at O'Hare on January 10, there's no concern, and even if you were the risk was very, very low, and even if you've been vaccinated it's next to nothing, said CDPH Chief Medial Officer Drive. Alison Arwady. Since the vaccine that protects people from measles is a standard childhood vaccine, travelers who received it as a child are generally protected. But if you have not been vaccinated or you were traveling with small children that day you should check in with your doctor, officials say. If you were exposed to measles, symptoms could come on as late as January 31, and include rash, high fever, cough, runny nose and red, watery eyes. If you think you have it, do not go to the doctor's office right away. Call first so you don't infect anyone else. The Chicago Department of Public Health says there is no current risk for travelers coming into or out of O'Hare and they do not expect an outbreak, but it's a good reminder to make sure you and your children have all your vaccinations. More from AOL.com Potentially deadly flu virus is widespread in 46 states Customers at Utah 7-Eleven possibly exposed to hepatitis A Health officials say children banned from hospitals as deadly flu continues to spread